Hello everyone. In our previous video on Azure DevOps build pipeline, we created a CI/CD build pipeline for our .NET Core Web API project and generated build artifact. And we did all of this using a self-hosted agent. Today we shall take a step further and learn how to deploy those build artifacts to Azure App Service and also see how to set up a SQL database in Azure that our API can use. We shall do everything in a very beginner friendly and a practical way starting from creating the SQL database, configuring its connection and linking it with our deployed application. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let's create a your SQL database so our API can connect to the backend after the deployment. First of all, open portal.azure.com and we search for Azure SQL database. Click on it. We have create option here. Click on create. If you get this message, click on apply offer. We don't have any resource group at the moment. So let's first create a resource group. Click on create new. I give it name like Pi test resource group. Click on OK. I give the database name here like JWT or the demo DB. Under the server, click on create new. I give it name like code canvas DB servers. Here it is asking for authentication method. This basically decides how we shall connect to the SQL database, either using Microsoft Enter ID or SQL username and password. For the demo, I shall select use SQL authentication because it is the simplest and works perfectly with .NET connection sync. We shall just use a SQL username and password that we define here. Enter server admin. For example, I add SQL admin. And for password, create a strong password and note it down for later use. Click on OK. So it says your subscription is not available in the selected region. So let's change the region. Here we see the option auto post the database until next month. I shall keep it on. So if I exceed the monthly free limit, it just pauses the database instead of charging me. Okay, next we click on networking. Okay, now we are on the networking tab. This tab decides who can connect to our SQL database. For network connectivity, we shall select public endpoint. This means database can be accessed securely over the internet using a firewall. Next, we have firewall rules allow Azure services and resources to access this server. We click on yes. This is important because we deploy our web API to Azure App Service and it will need the permission to talk to the database. Then add current client IP address. I will turn this on as well so I can connect to the database from my local system to SQL Server Management Studio or from Visual Studio. Okay, now we click on next. The next is security tab. Let the default option be selected here. Next, there is additional setting tab. But we don't really need to change anything here. It mainly used if you want to start your database with a sample schema or restore from a backup. Go straight to review and create. You can review everything once and then hit create to deploy your SQL database. Here we got some error. We review this error. It says the resource code canvas DP server was disallowed by Azure. This policy maintains a set of best available region. This usually happens for on free tier account. Which we may need to change our region. So we go back. Go back to the basics tab. Under server, click on create new. Try selecting different region. For example, East Asia and click on OK. And now click on review and create. Click on create. So it is showing submitting the deployment template for the source group. So you are currently seeing deployment in progress. This means Azure is provisioning a new SQL server, a new database, and both inside your resource group. It will take a few minutes to complete. Okay. Your deployment is complete. Click on go to resource. Here we have complete information about our resource like server name, connection string, 
and many other options. Now let's connect our local SQL Server Management Studio to our Azure SQL database. Open SQL Server Management Studio, give server name here and select SQL Server Authentication. Open the connection string and copy the server name. Give SQL Admin as a username and provide password to it. Click on connect. And you can see and we are successfully connected to our Azure SQL Server and we can see it has created our database as well. Okay, now our Azure SQL database is ready. Now we need the tables for our API to work. I already have them on my local SQL Server. So I shall generate a script and run it on the Azure database. So I connect with local SQL Server and create database script from here. Click on next. And click on next, next, click on finish, copy this whole script and run this script on Azure database. Click on execute. Okay, script executed successfully. Let's verify tables are created. Okay, yes, our tables are created. Okay, now our Azure SQL database has all the tables we need. Next, we can deploy our API and point it to this database. So it works exactly like our local setup, right? Okay, next we need to update connection string in our project so that it connects to Azure SQL database instead of our local database. So once updated, we shall push the changes to our Azure repo so the build pipeline can pick the latest code, right? So open your project in Visual Studio 2022. Navigate to appsetting.json and we replace this connection string with our Azure SQL database connection string. Okay, we are done with replacing connection string. Click on Git Changes, stage all these changes. We give some comment like Azure Connection String and commit these staged changes. Changes are committed. Now we push it to Azure Repo. Okay, changes successfully pushed to Azure Repo. As we push these changes from feature branch, so let's merge these changes in our main branch. So I followed the same process of creating pull request, approve and merge. Okay, new changes are pushed and we can see updated connection string here. Okay, now that our code is updated with the Azure SQL database connection string and pushed to the repo, we can deploy our API to Azure App Service using our build pipeline. So we will run our build pipeline in a similar way we executed it in previous video tutorial. Go to pipeline. Before we can deploy our API, we need an Azure App Service. This is where our .NET Core Web API will run live on the internet. Let's create it step by step. We go back to our portal, click on App Service, click Create Web App, select our resource group, enter a unique name for your API like JWT Auth Demo API. For publish, select code, runtime, stack. Dot nine. We select the region. Select the same region as we used for SQL database East Asia. Click on Review Create and click on Create. Okay, it has started initial deployment for this. Okay, deployment is complete. Click on Go to Resource. This endpoint will be the live endpoint for your API. Later, we shall deploy our build artifacts to this app service using the build pipeline. Now, our app service is ready to host the API. Next, we shall configure the build pipeline to deploy our artifacts directly to this app service, completing our CI CD workflow. When I open this URL, so it says your web app is running and waiting for your content. It means deployment of artifacts. Now, go to Azure DevOps and build pipeline. Click on edit. In the task tab, click add icon, search for Azure App Service, Azure App Service Deploy. 
and click on add so it says some settings need attention so click on it and your subscription are as your first students click on authorize give your credential here and click on next okay next app service type let it be selected as it is now we need to select app service name it is the same app service we created earlier and deploy slot it we skip it for now click on save and queue save command deployment on app service now click on save and run now it has started to build pipeline again and deploy it on azure app service all right when we tried running our pipeline we got this error no package found with specified pattern something like this path this usually means the azure devops couldn't locate the published zip package that are built task generated so we need to fix the path in our azure app service deploy task so let's go back our pipeline editor and uh, open azure app service deploy task okay we go to azure app service deploy task we see path for package or folder is specified something like this system dot default working directory now this path points to the entire workspace and looks for any zip file but in our case our publish command puts the build output in build dot artifact staging directory that's why the deploy task couldn't find anything earlier so let's fix it so we in your app service deploy task we replace this with this one build dot artifact staging directory this time the deploy task should be able to find the package and start pushing it to our azure app service right so click on save and queue and run the pipeline again let's wait for pipeline to be completed so now our build and deployment pipeline is working fine actually fixing the path in azure app service deploy task allowed azure devops to finally locate the published zip file and deploy it to our app service without any issues now the artifact was generated packaged and successfully deployed to our azure app service instance now the deployment is done the next thing is we need to verify the application running on azure so to verify if our deployment is successful we open the browser window and provide app service url like this and hit enter and see this time our api is working fine okay now we test our api using postman we test our backend by registering a new user through our deployed api so we have this register user endpoint so we pass this payload to this api and click on send and we got successful message user registered so to open the database to verify if our user is actually created in the database so this is our azure sql and this is our database and we execute query to verify if new user is added to the database and see new user is created in the database successfully that's it that brings us to the end of this video so to sum up in this video we created an azure sql database for our api configured and added an azure app service deploy task in our build pipeline we fixed the artifact packaging path issue that was stopping our deployment we successfully executed our deployment pipeline that tested our api using the azure app service url through postman and finally verified that the user data is correctly saved into the azure sql database with this our dotnet web api is now deployed and running live on azure app service so if you found this video helpful please like the video subscribe to the channel and share it with others see you in the next video thanks for watching